<laughs> moving on. But then again, you come to things like when you say studying you. becomes like a factor. There are people who are functioning in that sense. You know what I mean? Like I'm a functioning. Like I can go to work stone, or I could, you know, go to school stone. I can do homework stone. I can exercise stone. I mean, then how do you use it as like what? It, there come, becomes a line where it's like, okay, what can I do sober now if I can do all this stuff exactly. stone? And it, that's how it, you end up doing it all the time because you. But how do you, you know think, how effective you are you know, being I, I, stoned? I, you think, but I don't think you you do everything to your fullest ability, of course, because you're under the influence. But well, you can function on it. Yeah, I know people that are seriously constantly 24 hours a day stoned, like just sleeping stone, studying stone, like everything. And they they function pretty well. I mean, they do everything pretty well. And it's I mean, it doesn't really seem to affect them, like work-wise or. So studying. it becomes their norm. Yeah. Exactly. Being stoned is mm -hmm. their norm. Mm -hmm. Or being that's, drunk. Yeah. Drunk. Yeah, that's their soberness. Yeah. So what would they be like sober? <laughs> sober usually Sleeping. very moody. Yes, very moody. Yeah. It makes people moody. Yeah. Well, so then that in itself tells you how addicted it is. Yeah. Addictive it is because you start off and you just want a little. Then you want a little bit more because, oh, you didn't feel quite right. So you want to just feel a little bit better. So then you do it again. And then you want that feeling again because you don't want to feel how you should be <laughs> feeling. So it just becomes a big snowball effect. And yeah. then your norm becomes either drunk or stoned and you don't even know how to function sober because you feel out of the ordinary you feel yeah. not quite normal yeah. Yeah, the, there's and then the, your whole curve on like what you consider moderation becomes like uh, oh you know and then you need more and then how do you know once it snowballs to that that your more won't become a different drug a harder drug and a whole week's gone by, and you say, oh, you know, I only smoke four times a week. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, yeah. there are people yeah, that don't seriously. smoke at all. Yeah. They're like, There's what, a, you smoke yeah. pot? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and some people are happy they only smoke yeah. once that day. Yeah, you know? like, yeah, yeah once that day. Or they didn't smoke you know? until, like, yeah. like, after work oh. at 10 o'clock at night. Like, they're like, yeah, yeah I haven't smoked the whole day. Yeah, yeah seriously. And, <laughs> and then other people are like, Rosalind's <laughs> like, uh, you yeah. smoke <laughs> once a day. Yeah, exactly. Seriously. That's a lot. <laughs> it's the same with cigarettes, though. It's like there's, what, 20 cigarettes in a pack? How can you go through one pack a day? 20 cigarettes a day? There's people that go through three packs of cigarettes a day. And it's like, pff, come on, you know? How do you do that? And it's, it's pretty much the same thing, you know? Yeah, it's the difference yeah. between cigarettes and pot also. Like, you can share a joint with, like, four people. Yeah. But, you know, you smoke five, six cigarettes a day yeah. to yourself. See, yeah. I, I mean... The ratio in cancer usually it, it does even yeah, out. It probably does even out. Yeah, because I mean, you usually don't smoke like a joint or a, a blunt by yourself. You usually well, some share. Some people do actually. So. Yeah, I mean, there are people that do, but that's like you know that's like every like what four or five hours you know. And there's you know people who smoke cigarettes are constantly just lighting up, lighting up, and it's like the ratio it should even out. It should. Most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. So we all know the dangers, uh, or we all should know the dangers of drinking and uh, marijuana use. For instance, the three leading causes of death among 15 to 24 year olds are car accidents, homicide, suicide, with alcohol and or drug use being the leading factor in all of them. Along with, you know, like you said, you can function, but how effective are you functioning your perception your judgment your coordination they all decrease when you're doing these things so how do the benefits of drinking and drug use outweigh the risks oh big time i mean they are <laughs> i mean you are, if, i mean if you're sober obviously you're going to function better right and, i mean that's a big benefit i mean uh, i'd rather uh, I, I, I i'll never drive drunk but uh, Sober, I mean, I'll do anything sober. So, of course, the benefits of being sober would outweigh being high on any any day. But why do I do it? Uh, just Cause just to do it. Because yeah. you've gotten away with it before. So maybe this time you're going to get away with it again.
So you're saying just because you can? Yeah. You do it just because you can, yeah. and why not? Exactly. That's the teenage mentality. Exactly. We do what we want because we can. Because you know, we you can. have no responsibilities. Exactly. Your consequences don't fall on you as hard because you're not an adult. Because yeah. you know, mommy will bail you out, or because I don't have like rent to pay. You know, because I don't have like, you know, the, the big responsibilities that defines us as adults. Yeah. So, okay, three million teens are alcoholics, and the number one diagnosis of teenagers in treatment for drug use is pot dependency, more than any other illicit, all the other illicit drugs combined. So how do you know you're not going to fall among one of those three million alcoholics or be in treatment? for pot dependency, how do you know that you're not going to be one of them? We or you just don't you. care and the benefit of smoking and doing drugs is better? Well, it's all up to the person. Yeah, it's all up to you. I mean, seriously, it's, it's, weed is addicting, but it's not addicting to the point where, I mean, I'm just going to go overboard and just take it to the next level. Because, I mean, there's, there's a certain amount of self-control that you have, and, like, once you pass that self-control level then you know then you need help outside help but I mean most people have enough self-control to you know calm down when you need to or right. do, yeah so well we're gonna briefly very briefly just mention parents and I just want to know what y'all's viewpoint on how they can help either you know identify the warning signs or how they can help get you know you guys off it or not start or what are your thoughts pertaining to parents very briefly? Well, I think uh, you got to catch it early, even before warning signs. You can't, you can't wait. You just can't wait till they do it and then address them about it. You have to let them know before. All right, you got to introduce them. You got to tell them, oh, this is, this is pot, this is alcohol. Don't do it. And right. Yeah. So you got to catch it. Like you got to nip it at the bud. And their attitudes. They should instead of threatening or demanding they should talk to them as a friend you know like right. let them know that you're going to be there for them to answer any questions and you know like don't demand be like don't you ever you know right. smoke don't you yeah. ever drink like be there for them tell them what it's about and don't scare them because if you scare them you're going to do things and you're not going to tell them because you're going to be scared you don't want to be scared right because yeah. well thank you guys for joining me today that was went by very quickly oh, yeah. and um so on that note, we are going to wrap up today. And if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, want to be a guest, you can email me at jessica at justcorrector.com. And I'd like to thank all my guests for being here. And thank you for joining us. And see you next time on Jessica.